Hello, Mark Allen. Standing here in my base on Halloween. Well, the event's still going on. It's actually the day after Halloween. And, oh, got some new emotes. <laughs> and they're really stupid. Here's a turkey one. Dumbest thing. Um, okay, let's just start off with saying it's going to be dark a lot in these videos. Let's do that a little bit, a little gamma. Um, these are all artifacts. Most of them are really easy to find, so we'll do some of that. And I'm getting some jerkiness. Here's Dumb Feather I mentioned in the last video, and here's Dark Feather. And then we use that cage, and uh, Anita got one, and she named it Middle Feather. Pretty original. <laughs> um, dumb Feather's pretty good. Um, I guess we can fly around a little bit with Dumb Feather. But um, over by this moon, and there's some islands way out here. And that island is where the... Uh, yeah, it's just coming up. You can kind of see it. Uh, it's not these southwest islands or whatever that was the first deserty area they added but it's that last island over there and that's where the water outpost is water base we have a bunch of uh megalodons whatever sharks giant sharks and um i think anita has a, a basi basal source <laughs> I don't know, whatever that is. And I have a little dolphin that has almost no health. They're really low health, but they're fast, huh? Now, down here is something cool. I don't know how we're going to get lag from the rain. Oh, no, that's lag from the thing that's down here. I don't know how to reveal it without doing this. Um, I'm going to come back, and I'll be at the thing. See you in a minute. That one. And I'm at the uh, thing I wanted to show you. So let's get to that. Here it is. Uh, my motorboat I built. And I use my own uh, building skills. But also when I was having struggles with building boats, I went and uh, I used to watch Chicken Bone a lot. And he taught me a lot of tricks like how to lower the foundations with using uh, thatch foundations and pillars, and then a pillar next to that. And then uh, getting these angles. And it looks like uh, also, okay, the, this boat is based on a design by Aaron Longstaff. I guess he's had a staff infection for a long time. Ha <laughs> ha, jokes. Anyway, I'll put a link to his channel in the description uh, because it's, it's pretty similar, almost identical to his uh, speedboat design, except I changed the top up here. I've added some different stuff. Well, I've got my fabricator built right into the boat, and actually it looks pretty cool. I kind of add some uh, features to it. I've got these blue. I've set them to, uh, um, oh, what do you call it? I've set them to like a cyan color. Let's see if we can uh, make sure they're all on. And, of course, they're not working today. Now it's powered. Okay. And these turrets... The, on the turrets, they're not supposed to shoot dolphins and pelagornas and dodos and, uh, because they have settings in them because they're S+. Plus and, and the settings are not working right or I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so this is real similar. I've changed this top. This whole design is a little bit different than Aaron's and then uh, adding these on the back here is different. And I don't know if his around the front. Let me pull it forward a little bit. So you can see out the glass front here. 
or you can see this mode and then of course there's K mode but and this windshield is actually uh, no clip mod glass metal um, it I had the greenhouse stuff and it just got destroyed by some uh, when I went through the wyvern area over there one bite and they took that out so this may be as strong as metal and may hold up better so I've got my cyan lights I've got uh, these s plus metal storage boxes I got three of those um, if I want to I can land a flyer right back here on these uh, catwalks and I've got these guns to protect the ship but basically they just kind of when I use this boat to get over to my outpost um, they just kind of shoot stuff and drag it towards the outpost and then everything attacks the outpost so uh, it's fine if the settings worked right or if I knew how to use it properly I wouldn't do that but cause, well it might it's shooting mantas and sharks um, those are the, what come in and attack so it would still do that um, the garnish with the poor pellet there's so many of them they just get blasted out of the out of the air and out of the water I don't care just using my bullets though um, so let's see if I can get into uh, K mode camera what is this called the uh, orbital camera mode yeah and I can't do it from that angle so this is it the speedboat uh, based on his and like I said my uh, outro has a raft that I built and I use some of chicken bones uh, tricks to get build that build that thing and then uh, this is the new motorboat and it is pretty well protected let's see it's pretty secure down here you can't access uh, anything you can't get on it from the bottom here or anything you have to go up onto the boat through the through the doors and if they're closed then it's secure and everything is foundations and ceilings so and then I've got walls all the way around managed to I screwed that up a little bit there's a double kind of a double wall there this side came out right but I managed to get walls uh, all the way around so then metal railings and uh, well server save and you can see it's kind of a cyan mixed with uh, that bright green um, I'm not sure what that's called but this is my mode of transportation back and forth to my new outposts that's the other thing i want to show you so we'll head over that direction and we can watch uh, these guns are they're on a four second warning before they start shooting stuff but so it's got some cool noises and gives it a fun feel these pelagornis are going to get it though didn't no warning there the warnings already happened so Die, evil pedalagornesses. Oh, shooting the basal sword. Uh-oh. I want to get one of those. Dang it. Those things are going to follow me a long ways. <laughs> I can probably outrun them. So our island... These are the southwest islands. The desert scorch type islands. Over there. Straight there would have been there. I assume the whoops the uh, last island before they added these other islands the scorched islands but I don't know it had some uh, ruins with natural docks in and so I thought well this be a, a nice place to build a water outpost and my my first plan initial plan was to you know set a bed and fast travel leave some scuba over here and but now I have this boat, um, and I can just drive it over. So I don't use fast travel very often because you have to leave everything behind, and you got to have a whole new set of tools and armor and food and everything else. So, which is fine, but you really got to be set up at your fast travel location. So you got to go there quite often to keep it up and running. But so here's all my gates starting to come into the scene here. I think I can just pull in from over here. Hopefully we don't see a bunch of mantas and, or the guns don't see it because they're just going to 
Oh, that's a basil. What is that? Now it's a Pelagornis. It's gonna die. Yep, dead. <laughs> and we're here. So we'll just turn that off for now. We'll leave the guns up and running, and maybe the doors will close in a minute. Yep. So there is the motorboat. Jump up here and get a bird's eye, rock eye view. Um, pretty basic, but like I said, it's got a fabricator. Um, in one of those storage boxes, I do have a forge and smithy and campfire and there's a bed over uh, up there. You probably already saw it. But it's giving me the motorboat hell. <laughs> There's a bed right there by the fabricator. Uh, so I can uh, sleep on it and I can spawn on it, which is good. But the fabricator is mostly so I can uh, power up the fabricator and the lights and the guns. Oh, wait a minute. That's what I meant to say about the uh, <laughs> about this generator and this is Aaron's design to get the generator back in this room secure it and, uh, but the fabricators for repairing scuba gear and all that so and I can run it on gas since it's yes I think I can run it on gas anyway gas or electric so S plus doing the work so let's jump out here. We got a few sharks. All my sharks are uh, babies of Anita's, except for silver and gold here. This was like a 140 that was swimming around when I was building all this. And basic, I got the basics here: cooking pot, a campfire, bed, storage. You see it all, and a generator. In case I want to put a fridge or power up this thing by electricity i've got gas out here now because the basil over there bacillosaurus yeah it makes oil and we get oil from killing these i think squids and stuff we've had to kill a few to get um artifacts and there was one underneath the sea maybe i'll i'll go out there and show it to you i don't know i hate the underwater stuff sometimes pretty cool you can't see very good and there's so many new dangers and new alphas but it's past those islands and out toward the border um there's an area that has a lot of squids and it goes real deep and we found it down in there near a, an old boat wreck so these are all anitas she's got like six sharks and this bacillosaurus and uh yeah and so i made a few little well, I asked her if we could make a baby shark, and then uh, I got twins, so Mark and Mark's two. And then Megatan Green was uh, actually another one that I got from the two best sharks she had. and uh, It's really good. And let's see. Okay, so these ruins here are really cool. They got built-in stairs. This island's pretty cool because... There's really nothing to threaten you. You could just log out here and you'd be all right. But So there's this little room here. And then underneath, I was thinking of putting some beer kegs in here. Maybe making some beer. I don't know. Mostly it's just for grabbing the sharks and whatever else we get from the water and parking it here to be safe. So got a feeding trough. Just got all the necessities, and uh, I could I could swim out there and get that uh, artifact and video it right now, but since I wasn't planning on doing that, it'll probably go all wrong, and uh, I wanted to show some other artifacts off, so I'm going to jump back on my boat, go back across, and uh, fly around and do some artifact looking and show you my tames that I've got just doing more playing than recording working hard also and so not having much time to record and edit but um, yeah so I got a bunch of new tames and a bunch of artifacts and then I'll fly around and show you where 
Anita showed me a whole bunch of easy ones. I, I don't know where she saw where to find them because they're not all just obvious. One of them was a place I was going to check anyway, but I hadn't got around to it. And I'll show you that one too. So I'm not sure where she found out, but yeah, they were they were fairly easy. And there's a couple of caves she showed me that we haven't gone in. And we still need to go back to that lava cave, um, find a way to get it crossed, and get all this junk out of there. Uh, I hear there's an elemental boss in there. Because when you walk in, it says a boss available. So I looked up, and there's a yeah, elemental, like a lava rock golem or something crazy. So if I do get across the lava, I'd have to take some rocket launchers or something and uh, die in there to that thing, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, I will um, be zoomed way out here with my orbital cam, and uh, I'll see you back when I grab my griffin or something, and we'll go fly around. Okay, see you in a minute. Bye-bye. Hey, I'm back over at my base, and I wanted to show a couple of things. Um, this thing right here is actually my scuba mask. It was a wizard hat. It's pretty dumb. I got from the Halloween event. Um, also, I thought there was another hat I had, but I might have put it up. This thing, I got this skin for my quets, which I actually like my quets without it just fine. Uh, it's good looking quets. I think, anyway, it's fine looking anyway. But since we got the costume and you can see right through it when you're um, flying and, and things, like when it's in the air, you can see you know, really good on the ground, so I'll probably just leave it on for now. I've never had a bone costume for anything. And I should have explored more, got more costumes, but uh, there was a couple of more. Let's see. A couple of more. <laughs> this one was some bunny ears for the uh, for anything that can wear a hat, so any There we go. <laughs> so I put it on uh, Anita's Jerboa. Let's go out here. And this is a, a saddle skin, I think, or a costume. It's just a costume. So I put it on my uh, on Brenda, my Allosaurus. I know it's not a. Uh, Carno, but not a Carno named Brenda and Brian. <laughs> uh, so we made a whole bunch of Rex babies, and uh, some of them are very powerful. There's twins there, the white ones. Um, there's one over there called Green's Girl, and then there's uh, Irish's got a baby that's really strong. I've gotten uh, beavers to get wood. We're making charcoal for gunpowder for the stupid turrets and everything else they need gunpowder for. Um, got a dire bear. I don't know what I haven't shown, but... And then I got two more Rexes I tamed during the Halloween event. Just parked them out here. Uh, one's missing. So, no, there it is over there. Uh, Must have went after something. There's... Still, there's still spiders and uh, scorpions, everything. I don't know that uh, I've did a done a force reset on the uh, you stay on the server to get rid of them. I kind of wanted wanted them around because there's a whole bunch of those. Megalus, the sleeping, the things that sleep during the day. And Anita seems to like them, so maybe I thought maybe if there's still a few around, she could tame another one easier. She's already got two. And that's a Giga right here. Dang it. That's not good. I knew there's a chance of that, but... Uh, that's a level 50 with 
what, a billion health. That's not cool at all. 80,000 health. Hmm. How can I lead it away? This thing will probably get eaten in a, in a bite or two. It has a good sweep attack, I figured out, but... Those two Rexes out front won't last long. Maybe I can lead it off with the uh, on the dragons. Bam! <laughs> uh, I'll take you for now, Mister Lightning Wyvern. Giga. Stupid Gigas. It's supposed to be up there. In that area. You want to come after me, Giga? I need you to get the hell away from my base. Need you to go away now. Come on this way. Crazy thing. <clears throat> Can you get me? I guess you're still going to try, huh? Giga! Come on, stupid. How much health I got? Plenty. Maybe I can peeve it off. I might have to go in first person mode. Because I like that mode. <laughs> and I don't like Gigas. I mean, I'd like to tame it, maybe, but. Why? They'll just, uh, any little fall damage, they'll, they'll eat you right off of it, <laughs> right off their backs. Um, if you fight an alpha with them, they'll take enough damage to rage mode and kill you too. I don't know if you're good down here or not because... My boat's down there. I don't know. I haven't quite been able to kill one of these yet with the with the dragon. Already bloody on my end. Oh, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> back this way stupid hmm yeah it must have done a must have done a dino wipe and that thing spawned right there so how good a climber are you I know they're really good climbers but anything I can climb you can climb better it looks like Come up here with these Brontos? I bet you can't get up here. I had to fly. You did it! Dang it! I don't want to get trapped on it. Come eat some Brontos. Yeah, it will. Alright, I'm 
done with that guy. I don't know if he could eat my boat. It's metal. <laughs> so it's now it's raining. We got gigas in the area. It's not a direct threat right this second, though. So Base loading lag. Bloody dragon. Look how much health it took. Yeah. Really, I'm that far zoomed out, game? What the heck? <laughs> oh, well. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Mode. Yeah, it's not working. All right. Well, since it's raining and there's a giga interruption, I'm going to fly over toward the first artifact and I'll be right back. Hello, and we're being attacked. Get out of here, Scorpion. Give me your chitin. Uh, the first area is first artifact... Well, we've already seen the one with the monkey temple. Um, we know where the wyvern one is. I might stop there too. Poisoned. From that scorpion. <laughs> Go away, poison. Uh, the other one's right down there. Um, where this water is. Waterfall. Whoa. Don't want to go too fast. Um, I'll just put this on real quick. Don't need it to get down here, but uh, basically thirty nine forty five. Um, let me put some uh, flops on too. So I've when I was down here before, I saw this crystal. I looked down here anyway from up there. You can see some crystal down here, but if you look farther and swim down here, there's this artifact. And, uh, technically I have enough artifacts right now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it. Um, got two or three of those. Switch back into some normal clothes here. Find our griffin, which is way over there. <laughs> um, looks really pretty here. Now that Halloween nighttime constant is over. Let's see, I could... Yeah, I'm probably going to go over by the blue tower. So, I'll be back when I get over in that area. See you in a minute. Man, I love the lighting in the mornings and the evenings in this game. So many beasties around here. <laughs> I never did show you this from the Halloween thing. I had a random super weird thing. It's a Survival of the Fittest Trophy third place. And you can see all the names on it. Weird, huh? It's mine now. Um, this one is a new one, so I'm going to put it here. She better not have that one. Nope. That one's ours. Alright, so like these, I think... Yeah, I've already got two in there. I'll put two in hers. Uh, this one, there we go. Do I have this purple one? I've got a blue and I've got a green, okay. Is it this one? Yep, that one. <laughs> anyway, this is Mark Allen. Uh, 
server lag. Look at that. Look at my trophy. Love it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.